Oh, hello there. What What's up, what good? Up? Yo, uh, name's King Ty, and I'm out here fishing with Bindi today. Um, we're on a small little lake out west. Um, let's see if we can catch five big ones today. Haven't been out fishing since July, so the boat's back and start fishing. Yeah, while Ty's boat is back, my boat is down, obviously, of course. Originally, I wanted to take out the kayak and go fishing, but I decided why not join as a co-angler on one of the boat captains here, which is Ty Vang. So check out his channel, King Ty Fishing. But today, we're just on a brand new body of water. We never fished this lake before. And if uh, we got about five hours to fish, so we're gonna try our best and show you guys how we catch every single fish. So let's go. Starting off with your crank? Or are you starting off? Alright, I was thinking about don't crank, but since you're doing that, I'll flip a jig, you know, trust the We got weeds at about 80 feet of water. I mean 80 feet out. Alright guys, we're at the first spot. I'm wearing a camera, Ty's wearing a camera. The time is 704, okay? 704. We both have never ever fished this lake before, so let's see how it goes. Oh man. Where those guys are at? Ooh. Damn, this is a very Whoa, damn dude. Dang, okay. So the weeds go to about 15 feet. Unless those are all just bait fish. Not grass. You feeling the grass too? Dang, that's a lot of fish down there, guys. So look at that. There's a lot of fish down there. 15 feet of water. Water temp, 66 degrees. A ton of fish. Stupid mosquito trying to suck my blood. Let's switch these. Switch to a small swim bait. See what that? Yep, first fish. Decent one. And swim bait. See, I knew they were feeding on those little bait, you know. And I was at home. I was like, dude, they gotta be eating that small shit. Like two pounder. Hell yeah! First fish, first blood. Dang, I'm a little worried because I only brought. I only had just this one swim bait tied on. <laughs> so hopefully I don't lose it. Oh, give me a tournament skill. Let's do our best five. The folks like to see that at home. All right, guys, first fish of the day. Probably a two pounder on a little swim bait. We're gonna do our best five today. And don't worry, guys, these live wells are strong. These fish are gonna be alive. First fish of the day, and we have a two pound, three ounce. Ooh, small little paddle tail again? Small guy though. Ew. Crappie? Imagine we come across some nice crappies, dude. I mean, we could. I mean, like, a 10 incher <laughs> would eat this one. <laughs>
fucking jig worm? Yep. Nice, dude. It doesn't feel that big. Really? Mm. It's like a three pounder. Don't do it. Grass now, dude. It's out now. Ooh, it's actually bigger than I thought, dude. Pipe. Is it? I don't know. Just saying. Dude, he's putting up a fight. Dude. <laughs> Not coming it's a up. Big fish. That's not a bad fish. Fish number two, though. Just a little baby. Not bad. All right. Two and a half. Right. Oh, Ned rig. Yeah. Oh. Big Ned rig. Big Neddy. Oh, Ned rig. Outside weed line? Outside weed line. Nice. There's a little pocket. The, you scan. There's a little. Yeah, see that? Oh, that's what you cast right at? Yep. So now we're floating away from there, but that's where it was. 215. Old soon jig out. You know those newer exists? Mm hmm. They make a thick noise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so weird. Yep. Dang. Small fish. Right? Small. That's fish number three, though. Chatterbait, big blade. He hit it. He hit his head on the way up. Dang. That took forever. Number three, though. Dang, so small. I think we're not going to weigh him. The one pounder. Let's go run some new water. Let's go. Let's go hit that area over there. He said like it was deeper over there, right? Yep. Mind if I drive over there? That's it, right? No grass. There is kind of something. Huh? This is all like a huge flat, dude. That's about the flat, yeah. Might even be good. Crank bait. Working the flat right now. Crank bait. See if I can get anybody to react. I see. Hello? Hello? When is it late this morning? Around five. Oh, uh, you were almost high? Yep. Bye bye. That was it. This is general inquiry. This is a general inquiry. It's a basic ass question, you know? I was like, that's exactly what I told you yesterday. <laughs> I think it's funny when females ask questions, you're like, I, I told you that. Maybe they just forget stuff. Yeah, this is some very loose grass. Just like individual strands. Technically, it should be shallower. Mid range. I mean, I've been seeing reports of people catching fish like shallow to mid range, you know? And some lakes still holding offshore, too. <laughs> so much for that skip, huh? <laughs> Forget it.
Oh, oh, fail. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got demolished. Damn, rusty dude. Yeah, you rusty, bro. God. That's like a three pounder, huh? High two. Yeah, he's on the skinny side. Yeah. Young boy. Yeah. Yeah, he was chomping on it. Doom, 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 doom. Then set the hook out at the, after like the third bump. Yep. First three pounder of the day. Three on the dot. Three on the dot. Oh, hell, baby fish. <laughs> baby fish. Gotta be careful around that tree, man. God damn. Get my big and hoop. Dang, dude. See? Woo! Dogfish, dude. Why is this so skinny, though? Oh, it's just a two-pounder. Dang it. Nice, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. Yeah. Oh. Dude, that thing looks big. Bro. I know. Oh. That thing was... It wasn't coming. Is there? Two seven. Two seven? Yep. Not bad, working up a small little bag. Four. <laughs> that was loud. I think we gotta go back to, I think we gotta start fishing those other dogs, dude. So I think these are too shallow. Damn. I'm ready for some slow dragging, man. Why? Because these fish are not. They are not active. Well, based off the conditions you have, you can get 18 feet out here, and then like the grass slowly tapers out there. Dun, 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 dun. And I need you, dun, 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 dun. and I miss you. I was just there. Fish. Bluebird sky. Flat calm. Like we're not even moving. <laughs> See if we can get something going with the crank. Some action on this thing. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, it wasn't charging it. Oh dang, that would have been bad. It's kind of deep here too though. Yeah, these fish should hang out here. Oh, 
bro. Yeah, they'll be here. Dude, these fish are gonna be so lazy right now, dude. They probably not even don't even want to move right now. These man-made rocks are so nice, though. Yeah, I see a two-pounder swimming away. Really? Seriously, yeah. Swimming away. Oh, shit. Little guy. We have arrived to the water park. Maybe summer, but summer by every lake is hot, you know? Like right when they go offshore, you know? Yeah. Everything is hot. Not even a single dock was hitting after these fish, man. Grass, no, it's not fish. Grass? It's grass. Oh. It felt like a fish, right? Thick old grass. This grass is not fighting either. You know, it's a fish. What the hell? It's not even fighting. Now he probably swiped at it. Andre said fish the hump, but fish are very, very slow. The hump? Yeah, I mean, not the hump, the point. And fish are very slow. I'm just thinking, I'm like, well, how slow do, are you talking about? That fucking slow, dude. I'm just gonna idle us over. Because I know how Andre fishes, and I know he doesn't fish slow. message shit out of luck all right you sure again it's slow very slow they say so we already call it fives and fours what they said. Ew, what the hell is that? Ooh, what are you? Ooh. 
Do your right hip, dude. Oh. Yeah, bro. Ties just hooked up. Who's going jump? Who's going jump? Oh. Oh, that's a nice one for sure. Freaking fire, dude. On a jig? Yep, on the jig. That's like a four, bro. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Good Hell yeah. Oh man, my line was twisted on there, huh? would have been snapped. That's a nice fish, dude. A three pounder, finally, man. Man, on video too. Nice. Just hit it on the drop, huh? Yep. Nice looking fish. It's a little bit of bang up, but banged up. Three eight. Yeah, not bad. That looks like so big. I mean, that is the biggest big bass of the day so far. So break to FG knot set hook. Yeah. Felt good, huh? Sure did, dude. <laughs> Woo. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, guys, 12 o'clock it is. Five days, wait, five hours on the lake. Managed to catch some decent fish. I mean, it was relatively tough, man. Fishing Maybe it was were completely different. All the fishes moved out from where they needed to go. I think it was because of that storm we had over the weekend, dude. Think so? Because when uh, the other guys, they went out, they smoked it. And then when we came out here, it was trash. The conditions totally changed. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed something. Hope you enjoyed this episode. But we're going to release the fish and get on going. You got about like 14 pounds. Yeah, about 14. All right, so as we were loading up, we met this, this guy named Jason. He makes um, custom swim baits. He used to make musky baits, but he's switching it over to make bass baits. And he gave us a couple of them. Damn, that's actually really cool. It is. So big shout outs to Jason. Find him on uh, Facebook and then, you know, we'll share the link down below to his page. Support him, you know, he's pretty cool. That's actually really sick. Triple jointed. Nice d design to him. Killer pattern right there though. Look at that. Sick. All right, guys. We have reached the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Man, what a relatively tough day of fishing, I could say. Editing the video now, and we had some pretty heavy rain the past few days in Minnesota, right? And obviously during that time period, there is a pressure change in the atmosphere, and those fish go crazy, right? So my buddies, they went out and they absolutely crushed it. And so we went out the next day, and we were like, hmm, the fish should be munching, right? But no, the conditions totally changed. It was post front, so post front means um, it basically pre fronto and post front basically means before a storm and after a storm, right? And in bass fishing and fishing in general, usually before a storm comes in, the fishing gets absolutely great, right? And then afterwards, it's absolutely doo doo, right? Okay, so pretty, pretty much, long story short, it was tough out there. Bluebird skies, no wind at all, absolutely tough. But you know what? Any day fishing is a day fishing and can't complain about that. We were able to get on some fish, so that's awesome. But I expect that fishing should be getting better as the temperatures begin to drop lower and lower. It puts those fish on a fall feeding binge. Right now with the inconsistent weather going up and down, up and down, these fish, they don't really know what to do. It's just kind of like a waiting time, okay? So it's relatively tough. You still can get bit and you still can catch big ones, but we're still waiting for that bite when you go out there and it's every single cast in one spot. Dong, dong, dong. You guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, again, thank you for my sponsor, Capra's Outdoors and also Striker. Very blessed this year, guys. And if you want to get there too, I recommend better start building that fishing page. Better start building that YouTube channel because sponsors and companies, they love that social media content but other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching again like always you guys are the best you guys are the viewers every view counts you guys i know you guys all and when i meet you guys in person that is so cool you know because we're all people we're all people we're all you know fishermen in the community but enough chit chatting it's been about two minutes now 
I'll see you on the next one, alright? Once the boat is running, we will be fishing on it again. But other than that, we will be fishing on the kayak or with other captains. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, alright? Peace out.